I have a hard time letting go when it comes to designing and maybe other areas of my life in general. But this isn't a therapy session. We're talking about design here. I instinctively like to know exactly what goes into each of my designs, making things from scratch, because it allows me to experiment and know what works well, and it also allows me to get just more proficient at whatever design software that I'm using. But I've come to the realization that if I'm going to be doing freelance UX, which is a goal I'm actively working towards, then I need to figure out systems that allow me to design projects faster. Because at some point, I imagine I'm going to reach a point where I'm going to be juggling multiple clients at the same time, and there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to design everything from scratch and still be efficient. Enter Figma UI kits. At first, I thought using a Figma UI kit would be considered cheating. I mean, after all, if I'm not designing everything and I'm just using this recycled, these recycled components, doesn't that make me a phony, a fraud? And that's certainly one way to think about it, but after some reflection, I started to realize that, hey, if I use a Figma UI kit, I can not only juggle multiple clients, but I can focus on other aspects of the project as well, such as tweaking the components of the UI kit to tailor it towards a client and not having to design it from scratch, as well as just focusing on the overall copy um, written in the project. So after looking through different Figma UI kits, there was one that I found that was really recommended on Reddit, which is where I get a lot of my recommendations from, and that is Untitled UI. Untitled UI is 119 US dollars, which is a lot of money, but you also get uh, extraordinary amount of content for that amount of money. In fact, I would almost consider it overwhelming. I can access tons of marketing website templates, and so I can literally just use these Figma uh, marketing website templates that are already positioned in auto layout and they're ready to go. Or I can pick and choose different pieces of them. Like I can look at different hero sections, feature sections, uh, pricing, FAQs, all that. And I can sort of mix and match. Or if I want to more use it as a design system, I can just make my own designs and I can use all of the, the color palettes, typography, buttons, input fields that Untitled UI has so that I don't have to make everything from scratch. So I figured I would show you what's inside Untitled UI so you can get a sense of whether or not this might be useful to you. So let's hop to my computer and take a look at Untitled UI. All right, so when I purchased Untitled UI, I actually got two files. I got the original Pro version and then a Pro Lite. Pro Lite is basically just a less overwhelming version than the Pro because there is just a shit ton of stuff in the Pro version. But I'm gonna show you the Pro version. I'm not gonna go through all of it because it would just take so long, but here we are in, in the Pro version and it has an, a very helpful getting started just to sort of get you up and running with how to use this UI kit. Um, as well as how to uh, export this as a library so that you can use it in your files. And it just goes over how things are in auto layout, using the variants, and how to change color styles, all that important stuff that I would need to be able to know in order to use this effectively. So on the left, you can see it's sort of split up into different things. So the foundations has all your colors, typography, logos, all that. Um, it's got your components in the next section. It's just very well laid out. And then once you start getting into the bottom section here, it has the actual marketing website. So I'll go through some of these. I'm not gonna go through all this because it's gonna take forever, but I really like the colors section because it just has a very, very well done color palette um, that I can use for all of my projects. So as it stands now, the primary is sort of this purpley color, but what's neat is I can go down and I can choose any one of these colors and I can use that as a primary color. And it just has a crazy amount of variety that I can use uh, for color. So that's great. Um, and then moving on, they even have some gradients that I can use as well. I haven't really dabbled with this. And what I really like is that for pretty much every section, they have this notes and documentation section that talks about sort of their rationale on why they've picked certain things for their design system, as well as just giving you an overview on how to just good web design principles. So then we have typography, and this just goes over uh, all of their typography choices that they use that you can use with your project, logos, 
Uh, they just put some placeholder logos that you can use. Let me see what else is. Icons I really like. So they have a ton of icon, I mean, an extraordinary amount of icons that you can use. Um, and so this has been wildly helpful with designing. Now, Untitled UI also has their own icon set that you can buy, but this has plenty to, to pick from. So I don't really see a reason to purchase that. Let's see, they have their shadows. Again, I'm not gonna go through all this stuff, but it just, it's crazy how much stuff they have. Um, let's go to like buttons. So th this is definitely something that I would use often. So they have a huge slew of bu button arrangements that I can choose from. Uh, let's see, button groups. I don't really know what that is, uh, to be honest. And all sorts of just like inputs. And I mean, I, you can just see there's just a crazy amount of material in here. Truth be told, I don't even really use this this the actual pro version. I use the pro light that I showed you in the beginning. But let me show you some of the marketing website examples. So, like I said before, you can just literally copy entire landing page templates and they're all in auto layout. You can see how everything is auto layouted. Um, and you can just literally copy and paste this and just change the copy. And they probably have, I don't know, 15 different examples of just different marketing website templates. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And for everyone, they have a desktop version and a mobile version, um, which is very helpful. And so there's just, a ton of variety here. Again, it's actually kind of overwhelming uh, to see how much variety there is. But with that being said, um, it is very useful to have this much variety. But again, I still mostly use the Pro Light because it is less overwhelming. But what's neat is that if you just want to pick and choose, you can just have different sections. Like you can have a pricing section. You can just have like a um, an FAQ section, and you can just copy and paste these. Or actually, I guess those are down here, the components. You have the different headers that you can pick, the different feature sections that you can have. I mean, I could probably do a video for an hour on this, and I'm probably not doing this justice by going through it this fast. Um, but there's just so much material here that you can source from when it comes to designing a uh, marketing web page, and they also have a uh, applications. You can design web apps, and they have examples for that. I haven't used this because I haven't designed very many web apps, but you can see, like, you can make entire web apps that are. I mean, a lot of these seem to be kind of fintech related, um, but yeah, there's just a lot of different examples there. And again, they break all of those up into their their respective components, and I think that's pretty much everything. So. I mean, if you don't end up wanting to use the entire uh, examples, you can, again, just use components and kind of build your own design from that. And because everything is auto layout, you can literally just stack them one above another and just you can kind of keep going until you end up building out an entire web page or web app. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much an overview of... Uh, of Untitled UI. I could probably go into a tremendous amount more detail, but I'm trying to make this video somewhat reasonable to digest. Now, while Untitled UI has a lot going for it, there is one major drawback, and that is that while Untitled UI has desktop variants of their designs and mobile uh, variants of their designs, there's no tablet. And so if I want to create a design for a client that is fully responsive, I can't use that using just what is included in Untitled UI. I have the desktop and the mobile, so I would have to create the tablet. And if I want to create like landscape um, mobile, I would have to do that myself. And so therefore, it's not fully responsive right out of the box. But I think part of the reason that they don't do that is these Figma files are huge. There's a lot of components in them, and it's already a little bit clunky in terms of getting around sometimes. And so I think if they would have included tablet and landscape mobile, it just would have been 
probably too much information, just like component overload. Um, so I get why they probably only have desktop and mobile. And uh, those are probably the most important ones anyway, because if you have those, then designing tablets shouldn't be too much of an issue. But just want to at least point that out, that out of the box, Untitled UI is not fully uh, responsive within the range of screen sizes available. Overall though, I've been really happy with the Untitled UI kit. I think it's worth the money. The way I see using this in the future is mostly as a design system. So while I might use some of the predefined sections that they have for like a marketing website, cause they are very good, I don't want to always have to rely on them. I don't want to have to use them as a crutch. I still want to try to grow my design skills and get better in that area. And so where I really see the shining is using their design system. So using their color palette, their typography, their buttons, input fields, that kind of a thing. And then figuring out the layout of those things to create my own designs. And that's really where I feel like this could be really powerful, but also still allowing me to explore my creativity. Now, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning. I am not sponsored by Untitled UI, but I thought what I would do is I reach out to them to see if they would be willing to give a discount to viewers of my channel. And uh, they actually wrote back to me and they agreed. So that's awesome. So if you are interested in Untitled UI and you want to check it out, I have a link in the description below. And if you use the code JANSLEY15, you can get 15% off of the Untitled UI kit. This is an affiliate link, so if you want to support this channel, then that is a great way to do so. I actually used this UI kit on a recent project that I did designing a website for a physical therapist, and I went over that process a little bit in this video, so if you're interested, you can check that out. And one more thing, if you've been getting value from some of these videos that I put out, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, that would help me out a lot. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.